Hello together, I'm trying to do one more um, video in English language. Uh, it's uh, about a part which gets broken a lot of times by our Twizy. It's the loading flap. You can see here this flap and very much Twizy drivers know that this part here uh, gets off from the flap. And I will try to show you how to repair this with uh, soldering iron and a little bit of time and it will fix the problem very good if you have a little time and if you make it... Uh, so after you have cleaned the flap from former uh, repair uh, tries uh, that there is no glue or anything else on the original parts you can start to uh, look where it has to be fixed you can see the old fixings here and there you can put the part exactly on the part on the on the place where it has to be and then you take the welding no so soldering iron and make two punches here. So hold it exactly on the same place. And then you make two punches. One, two. And then you turn it around. And on the other side, also make two punches here in the edge. And now it's fixed. You can't lose it anymore and you can begin to make the repair. At first you need a few parts of plastic. If you don't have a part where you can cut it off, um, wenn ihr kein Teil habt, wo ihr das abschneiden könnt, könnt ihr hier notfalls aus dem Teil hier oben, aus diesem Regen fangen, hier ein bisschen was mit dem, mit dem Seitenschneider rauszwicken. Es ist wirklich wichtig, dass ihr Material habt, weil wir brauchen das Material, um jetzt hier aufzufüllen. So, und jetzt fangen wir an und machen, nehmen hier so ein, so ein Teil Kunststoff und fangen an, das aufzu, aufzuschmelzen. Ganz, ganz wichtig, ihr dürft hier nicht breiter werden. Also ihr dürft hier nicht wahnsinnig viel auftragen. Uh, you have to uh, let the original size here, um, because if you take the, the other part, it goes inside here and if the sides get bigger it won't fit in this hole so in the moment we take a plastic here and begin to melt it so you see it gets very liquid and now you have to take the soldering iron and put it into the flap a little bit so half a millimeter and the same here on the part we want to fix. You can't only put the, the liquid plastic on the side of it and think it holds. You have to, to weld here to, to solder it to melt inside this part too and then mix the liquid plastic here and then try to fit the original shape that it's not getting bigger. So on the outside we have nearly the, sex, the exactly shape than before. Auf der Außenseite sollte jetzt das Ding genauso breit sein wie vorher. Ähm, die effektive Befestigung machen wir jetzt dann innen. Da schmelzen wir jetzt richtig Material rein. On the inside we can add many plastic material without problems. So now we put plastic inside and begin to melt it here in the inside and there we do the same. Hier machen wir wieder das gleiche, auch wenn das Plastik hier schmilzt. Wir müssen bis in die Platte, in die Bodenplatte reinschmelzen, dass sich das, Geschm das, das geschmolzene Zusatzplastik richtig mit dem Originalplastik in der Bodenplatte und auch in, der, in dem Teil seitlich hier verschmilzt. And when, when we have many molten plastic, it's, it's too less, a little bit more, 
then we can start to mix the liquid plastic from the ground and the liquid plastic from the holder together. First we have to melt it very very carefully here so that we have enough plastic so it's getting liquid now you can see here is much liquid plastic and now we put it here on the side and on the floor and on the front and again here on the side on the outside we don't we try that we don't take too much all on the inside so then here try to shape the original design and now we have fixed Where is it? I don't know how how get the light inside here sorry uh, so you see it's all melted inside here it's alles reingeschmolzen und auch hier außen ist es alles schön zusammengeschmolzen Das ist bockelhart, da bewegt sich gar nichts. That's very, very strong. And now we make the other side. On the outside, very carefully that we don't make the sides bigger. On the inside, we can use much material to make it strong. Auf der Außenseite, wie gesagt, aufpassen. Da darf nicht zu viel hinkommen. And you see I, I push the soldering iron into the flap here and also into this part so that it melts together. And then if all is liquid and all is melted together, I try to make the original shape here. So, and now on the inside we can again use much new plastic to get it to get it stronger And again, make the original shape outside. And on the inside, we can put a lot of new plastic to get it stronger. And now you can see, 
on the outside it has the same size here and on the inside there is very much molten plastic which fixes the complete part. And now we can let it cool down a little bit and then we will try if we get the original axle here through this. So you can see it fits and now we try to push the axle inside here. When you are mounting it, normally you have to put these uh, parts inside before. That's only for testing. And now you can see it works perfect. And it's really strong. You can't, can't destroy it. <laughs> 